Chilled course by design, so we can get that first, get it out of here. There's a constant flow to this menu. We're steaming our food, and that gives me a little more burger space. The, the kitchen is so cramped. Now I remembered the last time that I cooked here that the kitchen was so cramped. So I didn't want to have you know a pan and just start searing scallops and just have you know stuff everywhere. So now I'm able to heat the vegetables, cook the vegetables, and stuff like that. You know, while all this stuff is cooking, my veal cheeks are in the oven at 200 degrees right now, getting hot. And now, we're not going to serve them for an hour and a half. But by the time that we put them on the plate, they're going to be perfect. I expect perfection. If you aim any lower than perfection, you know, you're certainly going to achieve your goal. It'll never be perfect, so that doesn't mean you can't try. It ain't half bad. We're working on our second course, which is our steamed flute. Got a little red pepper pepper rod, leek and red pepper pepper rod. We got our lobster sauce and our parsley root puree, all of which are for our second course, which we're seasoning our fish right now. And we're gonna get ready to put, put that guy in the oven. We're 15 minutes away from the first plate hitting the table. Um, but I'm already thinking about course two and course three. So this whole thing, it's all about planning, organization. Um, you know, we call it mise en place, everything in its place. I need to know that everything is right at my fingertips, ready to go. I don't want to have to search for anything. So we're in really good shape right now, but again, you know, long road ahead of us. 
Doesn't always work, but we always try. That's nice. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Chicken in the egg. One of my favorite mushrooms. Yeah. Chef will tell you, don't season the mushroom because it makes all the moisture come out. I say fuck that. Season the mushroom. I want the moisture to come out so it evaporates. When it evaporates, my mushrooms are caramelized. Watch. Put them in the pan. Hot, hot, hot. Don't touch it. Mushrooms are 90% moisture, 90% water. Now you're going to see the water come out of the mushrooms, and then it's going to evaporate, and then they're going to caramelize. That's what I want. Now all the moisture is evaporated. Now my mushrooms are caramelized. Holy shit, I'm a genius. This stuff right here is dead. i got to be smarter than the food. Because it's already dead. If I can outsmart the freaking mushrooms, then I'm going to freak I am an idiot. <laughs> So I'm going to take some shouts. Notice I haven't, I'm not tossing the pan. I'm not sauteing. I'm allowing the mushrooms to caramelize. That's what we want. Now what I have is the golden brown mushrooms. A little caramelization on there. No, more, no excess moisture. They're perfect. There's chefs that will tell you, don't season, don't season. And hey, you know, that might work for them. But they couldn't cook for me. Some onions, garlic, celery, some from Greenbrier Ranch Farms, chicken thighs. This dish is officially called the chicken and the egg. The egg, it's a local organic chicken egg that we parboil for X amount of time. Sort of like a hard cooked egg, but it's not. Oh my God, unbelievable. If they don't like this, they need to pack their shit up. Okay. Pasta, it's called Stroza Preti, free stranglers. They call them free stranglers because back in the, in the days in Italy, the priests, used to go to the restaurants and they were allowed to eat for free. Okay, let's, let's, we're done with it already, right? Everything's good so far. Nobody gives a shit about what we did. It's about what we're doing, okay? So this has got to be better than what I've done. I need you all the arugula. I need you to slide the plate. I'll take it. Don't anybody. Don't. Is there any chance that this is going to suck? No. This is a veal cheese. You, you never ate until you have some veal cheese. They love everything. They love the selection. They love the wine selection. That's the crust. The crust is amazing. Mustard greens. A little spicy. Some shallots. Mustard greens. A little chicken stock. It smells so freaking good. You can you get that like pungent mustardy aroma. That's my fault. I didn't. I don't think I wrote the sauce on there. Yes, I too make mistakes. Chocolate block. So now what we're doing, what are we doing? We're serving the dish with the chocolate block as the wine. We're putting it in the sauce, we're bridging the flavor. So I'm making sure that my uh, everything tastes good together. That stuff is <laughs> this is why I wrote the menu, this wine. This is my favorite red wine in the world right now. Disgusting. Just kidding. It is called the Chocolate Block. It's a Grenache Syrah and Cabernet Blend from South Africa. 2008 vintage. Um, it's just really robust flavor. Um, very balanced. Integrated tannins. I'm really happy with the way that the, the dish that we're serving right now is not a, like a huge, you know, like it doesn't need a really tannic cabernet. What it needs is a really integrated, balanced, delicious, luscious, 
sumptuous Cheers. wine. But, uh, and we ain't done yet. I got three courses left. So don't get all fucking high and mighty. That's a good Don't fuck it up if you guys are going to be wearing this. So. <laughs> A reduction of the liquid that we cooked the veal cheeks in. That I just wanted to finish with a little of that red wine. Oh my god. And that's what I'm talking about, bridging the flavors. Traditionally, you would have like a butternut squash ravioli with some brown butter and sage just over top of the ravioli. Instead of doing that, um, I've conjured up a dish where you put the brown butter and sage in the ravioli and you serve it with a bunch of other things that taste delicious. And you look like a genius. We did four courses so far. Great, yeah. It's about 15 minutes per course. Perfect. Two ravioli. Whatever one's on top has to be perfect. The one on the bottom can be upside down. It's not the end of the world. The one on top cannot be. The, the greens and the ravioli right next to each other. Otherwise, the plate looks empty. Next, we got actually my favorite thing that we served the whole day: passion fruit semi fredo, which is our intermezzo. And then we made some uh, raspberry caviar, which is a uh, you know, it's all like vegetarian, you know, whatever. It's made with uh, calcium chloride and sodium alkaline. So. Got a little raspberry caviar, little pearls. So we we already froze the semi fredo in a miso spoon. So we're gonna put them right on top here. So it's really amazingly interesting. The passion fruit has so much flavor. Not, not too bad for a non pastry chef. Then we have a caramelized apple, non bourbon apple stuffed crepes with a uh, hot apple soda consomme, candy pistachios, and ginger snap ice cream. And by ginger snap, I mean literally ginger snap. Not only as good as your last plate, this is the last impression these people are gonna be left of me, and indirectly you. So, can we make sure that we don't suck on this course too, please? We mean two. I'm very appreciative for the, the help that I have and the effort that everybody put in. So thank you guys. Oh, you know, I don't think I could be any happier than I am right now.